You know the feeling. You're out taking your child for a walk. Having fun? Sure, but something's missing. What could it be? That's right, the feeling of traveling upwards of 25 kilometers per hour. Well boy oh boy do we have the product for you. Introducing the Primobile. This is essentially a motorcycle plus a baby stroller, allowing the rider to travel at insane speeds given the circumstances. Is it safe? Nope. Is it fun? Hell yeah. Buy it. So that was a taste of the kind of wacky hijinks that inventors over the years tended to get themselves involved in. Of course, the Primobile seems pretty dangerous at first, but on a second glance, it is so much worse. The thing with the 1900s is they didn't have electric vehicles, so this beast ran off of gasoline, meaning things didn't look too good for the survivability of the child. Essentially, that means if a crash didn't get you, the fumes would. Yeah, probably a good thing this genius invention didn't go into production. Number two. Next up, we got a classic, the mass shaving machine. You and a few buddies hop in on a bench. You sit back, relax, and let the machine do its thing. The only small issue? It doesn't change its movements based off of your face shape. So if you don't have one specific type of face, good luck. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? It's only a bunch of razors. Yeah, overall, not likely something you would call consumer friendly. Luckily, it never really caught on. Probably because it was a prop in a comedy sketch for its release, but we don't talk about that. Number three. Speaking of ungodly damage to one's facial area, next up, we got the face glove. Now, this was a beautification product for the ladies back in the day. Want to preserve your young, youthful features? Strap this baby on and let it do its thing. What possible issues could arise from such a safe, healthy device? Well, I am glad you asked, because the answer is cancer. These things happen to be lined with asbestos, sulfur, and lead, among other fun materials. This is a classic case of reality versus expectations. Your expectations will be taking the mask off and looking like a new person, young and fresh. In reality, you take the mask off and look like a new person, only crippled and disgusting. Direct exposure to lead and asbestos tends to do that. The product was also advertised as, and I quote, the toilet mask. I don't have any desire to find out why. I mean, look at this advertisement. Doesn't she look like she's having a great time? Number four. Experts have come up with many ways to diet effectively over the years. Now, ideally, you surgically remove your stomach. But if you don't have the commitment for that, then strapping on a metal plate will have to do. Say hello to the legendary cheap diet device, TM. This was a handy tool like any other, used in order to start slimming more effectively. The premise is, if you need to stop yourself from eating too much, cut it off at the source. Good luck mashing in a cheeseburger with this thing in effect. It truly is a genius product. Although they never explained if you're supposed to wear it at all times, or if you get hungry you're supposed to sprint over to the mask, grab it, and strap it on. Either way, kind of freaking weird. Next product. Normal cars are cool, sure. But if you hurled one into a lake, it would break. Now, that's an issue, because claking is one of my favorite hobbies. Well, for a brief period several decades ago, some brave inventors solved this problem of mine. Boom. It's the Amphicar, a car that operates on both land and water. Though it was a commercial failure, it lives on in the hearts of many. Here's a photo of President Lyndon B. Johnson in one. It was said that he would invite guests over to his ranch, get in the car with them, and go driving. Eventually, he would start going down a hill. But while he was going down, he would yell something along the lines of no brakes, no brakes, and send them careening into the lake. Then miraculously, they'd survive. That is absolutely hilarious. You just don't want to do that kind of thing to the wrong person. It's the kind of prank that changes lives, in a good or bad way. Number six, house alarms. You love them, you hate them. On one hand, if someone breaks into your house, they can alert the police if anything funky starts to go down. On the other hand, where's the pizzazz? The answer is right here, the alarm gun. Now, I can only find a single website mentioning this thing on the internet. The most I could find was this image. Supposedly, the six barrels equipped onto this brick-looking thing would go off if someone made contact with the tripwire. I think the simple elegance of this invention really steals the show. You've got thieving problems? Not anymore. In fact, I propose my own variation on this idea. The home defense helicopter, patent pending. Number seven. You know the problem with modern military inventions? Not enough randomness. Introducing the Great Panjan Drum. The geniuses behind this device decided to strap two wheels to a barrel and then strap rockets to those wheels. It went about as well as you may suspect. When the Panjan drum reached 96 kilometers per hour, it began to perform in a less than ideal way, specifically because of the fact that actually giving this thing a direction to move in was a bit of a challenge. 
You could launch it from your trench, it might go 3 meters and then start heading right back towards you. But even if you could aim it correctly, once it reached top speed, it would just break down. In their one official test in front of high ranking military officers, the rockets went haywire and the drum went berserk and nearly smoked the cameraman. In the end, the only thing this weapon had destroyed was the hearts of the high ranking military officials. And itself. If you want to learn some facts that mess with your perception of time, click this video. And if you made it to the end, subscribe.